desaparecidos. Eso es lo malo. Yo soy Germán Choque, Orus Llapallapanes, en las orillas del lago Popó. Eh, la historia de los Orus eh, me contaron mis abuelos, mis abuelos. The Urus are one of the oldest indigenous populations on the Altiplano. The Lake Popó and its surrounding marshes lie 4,000 meters above sea level. This region has served as their homeland for thousands of years. With the expansion of the Aymara and Quechua groups into the region, the Urus withdrew to a series of floating islands off the shore of the lake. The Uru Chuyuni in Peru still preserve their way of life on the islands. Up to the present day, the Urus have lived along the wetlands that connect Lake Titicaca in Peru, all along the Desaguadero River, to Lake Popó in Bolivia. The Uru population has diminished dramatically in recent centuries. This is due to assimilation by neighboring ethnic groups and environmental factors like drought, hunger, and diseases. The Lake Popó is a very shallow lake. The inflow of water to this lake comes from the upstream waters of Lake Titicaca, as well as from a few regional rivers and precipitation directly into the lake. In the 20th century, the Lake Popó has dried out a couple of times, but the process dramatically accelerated in the last decade. According to scientists, the intense sunlight from the altitude is one factor that is drying this lake. You had a very high elevation lake. This means you get more sunlight and causing evapotranspiration. Critically, this lake is very shallow, so a maximum of four meters or so. So this cannot really be compared to Zurich where we have 150 meters. The Urus were the first people who settled on the plateau, but then were pushed by subsequent migrations into the marshes and islands. Y cuando llegaron los españoles y fueron al lago, al lago donde las totoras vivían con las islas flotantes. ¿no? Islas flotantes vivían hace años. Grande, unos mm, seis metros mm, por uh, guardar, así grande. Y, uh, ahí vivía pues, antes, se llama Coro. Uh, entonces, Ahí este cocina también, ahí mismo cocina, ahí mismo duerme. Después con eso han ido a recolectar huevos, a cazar aves silvestres. Ahí había harto pescado. Y todo con pescado, a mis hijos se ha hecho cre crecer. Todo el día pescado, casi cuartilla comíamos, media arroz así. No conocíamos hasta carne, nada, puro pescado. Eh, se cocinaba con caldo, pescado, ahí también con asadito, en la bracita, ¿no? con tostado también, con guiamos. Y eh, vivíamos bien con pescado. De luego ha secado también, en crisis hemos parecido. As the lake dried up, the Urus lost their daily source of food. Hay tres elementos que desde el punto de vista científico son importantes y que han dado como resultado la desaparición del de lago. El primero, el cambio climático, que para todos es conocido. Otro elemento que es más importante, más significativo, es definitivamente el inadecuado manejo de la cuenca. Es una cuenca endorreica cerrada, de tal manera de que todo lo que se haga en la cuenca alta va a tener un resultado directo en lo que es eh, el área del espejo del agua del lago eh, Popó. Hay 
Ahora sí, cops, no viene agua. Y el tercer componente que también es importante es la contaminación de las aguas que llegan al lago Popó. We can still see today the abandoned boats stuck in the muddy surface of the lake. With no more fish to catch, the Urus search for other ways to maintain their families. The Urus have to look for minimum wage work to fend off poverty. Several families have followed necessity, migrating to the salt beds. Por el sal me pagan, por, por paquete me pagan este, 1.10. Some of the elderly and children work as shepherds or make adobe. Don Felix, for example, earns his living making bricks from mud in Ichu. Ichu is a local plant in the Altiplano. He can sell these bricks in the neighboring villages. Women used to go fishing with their husbands. Today they contribute to the family economy by selling handmade goods. Ethnic diversity was and is threatened by anti-indigenous attitude and laws in the last centuries all over the world. In Bolivia alone, during the last decades, at least four ethnic groups have disappeared. Ongoing environmental changes, natural and man-made, enhance the Uru's vulnerability even more. It threatens them with cultural and physical extinction. The Udumaratas continue the struggle to secure their future.